Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Law Murray on your TL, and I'm going to tell you now. This is the 2024 NBA Epitome Game Series, where I pick out one game from each team from the last regular season. I am putting the spotlight on the biggest weakness of the 14 teams that missed the playoffs and the biggest strength of the 16 playoff teams from the regular season. This installment features the Philadelphia 76ers. It looked like the 76ers were thriving in the post-Doc Rivers James Harden era of the franchise. When reigning MVP Joel Embiid dropped 70 points on the Spurs in late January, new head coach Nick Nurse had the 76ers at 29 and 13 and third in the East, where they had been for about a month and a half. Tyrese Maxey was a first-time All-Star as well, but Embiid suffered an injury to his left knee that cost him two months and sent Philadelphia spiraling into the play-in tournament. They survived to earn the seventh seed, and Embiid returned to the lineup, but fell to the Knicks in six games in the East quarterfinals. The epitome game for the 76ers came at New York in March, the first of a miniseries. Both Embiid and Maxie missed this game, and the offense was in a terrible place. But if there's one thing Nurse made sure to bring over from Toronto, it was the value of the possession battle, especially defensively. As Josh Hart pushes the pace on the fast break here, watch how three 76ers are converging on him. So Nicholas Batum is there, Tobias Harris takes away an outlet, and Buddy Hill gets the steal. And you see that the Sixers only had 10 points in the first 11 minutes of this game. Forcing turnovers, especially live ball turnovers, allows you to score when you're not scoring. And that's what happens here as campaign hits a three. The 76ers did not do a great job defensive rebounding in this game, but they were able to make up for it because of their ability to create turnovers. Precious Achua going to beat two Sixers to the ball, but he throws it in a path that Kelly Oubre is able to intercept in front of Boyan Bogdanovich. And once again, Kelly Oubre this time able to finish the fast break on his own. That was three steals for Kelly Oubre in this game. Now, the 76ers didn't get a steal in the third quarter of this game, but they still were able to force four Knicks turnovers. And you see on this possession, Isaiah Hardenstein, he's looking for the Jalen Brunson cut. It's not there. He gets it back to Dante DiVincenzo, but Cameron Payne does a great job of drawing a Dante DiVincenzo charge. And then once again, Josh Hart pushing the pace. The 76ers load up on him, attack the ball. Tobias Harris eventually gets the steal. And even in a fourth quarter where the Sixers only scored 16 points, they never lost a fourth quarter lead. I can't stress this enough. It was a brutal game. The 76ers scored only 79 points and won in New York, but then two nights later scored only 79 again in New York and got blown out like they did in their other two regular season losses to the Knicks. But the 76ers beat the Knicks in large part due to the nine steals they got and holding the Knicks to a 19 to 21 assist to turnover ratio. No team had more steals last season than the 76ers. And when it comes to possession battle margin, where I add the differentials of offensive rebound margin and opponent turnover margin, only the Bulls were better than the 76ers at earning extra possessions. Philadelphia was the only team in the league to add a 2024 All-Star to their roster, signing Paul George to a max deal with the cap space they were able to get when they traded Harden and P.J. Tucker. Maxie got a max extension, and Embiid returns after playing his fewest games in seven years. Other rotation players added include likely starter Caleb Martin and key reserves Eric Gordon and Andre Drummond, with Tobias Harris, DeAnthony Melton, Nicholas Batum, and Buddy Heald all departing. The 76ers have only been to one Eastern Conference Finals since 1985, but they have the talent to make a run. Stay tuned for the next installment of the 2024 NBA Premier Game Series featuring the LA Clippers.